In part 5 I want to give you a few tips on how you can protect yourself against CSRF attacks. The easiest one is to simply use different browsers for different purposes. For example, instead of using Gmail through your primary browser, use mailplaneapp.com. I can't vouch for this application, it's just something that I've stumbled upon while researching this video series. Personally, I just use my Blackberry for email and only use the Gmail web interface when writing longer emails. You could also use Google Chrome for your general internet surfing and Firefox for your own websites. Again, CSRF can't be used against you when there is no session that, com that can be taken advantage of. While the method of using several browsers may be extreme, you can still always log out and don't browse other websites while logged into a site. Again, CSRF attacks aren't possible when there is no session to begin with. The problem with this and the previous approach is that it doesn't protect against same site request forgery. Let's get back to the example where a user gets deleted with a simple GET request and you put an image with that address on that same website's forum. The admin will still unknowingly delete the user even when using these best practices. A great way of protecting yourself against all kinds of attacks is Firefox's NoScript. Instead of going through all the awesome things that NoScript does, I'm just going to link you to their website, noscript.net. If you're using Firefox, install NoScript right away. And if you aren't using Firefox, you should consider switching to it. These approaches won't protect you against everything, but if you always follow these guidelines, it will be very unlikely that you, that you will be taken advantage of through a CSRF vulnerability. Questions? Comments? Shoot me an email at arne at That's it for my video series on CSRF. I hope that you have learned a lot about how to protect your own web applications. In part 2 of my video series, I'm going to talk about what you can do against XSS vulnerabilities.